my hello to all the listeners here i am dr sachin psychiatry faculty at dams and today i have the honor and pleasure of welcoming with me a fellow psychiatrist my colleague has been my student i'm so proud to invite dr ahil bandopadhyay she has secured rank 5 in neat ss2025 exam and has joined dm in geriatric psychiatry at kgmu lucknow thank you so much ahil and heartiest congratulations thank you sir for having me over Thank you for coming here, Ahil. Tell us about yourself. Where are you graduate, postgraduate from? Sir, I have graduated from Institute of Postgraduate Medical Education and Research in SSKM Hospital, Kolkata, and I have done my post graduation from Regional Institute of Medical Sciences, Imphal. I passed this year only. So you passed this year means this is your first attempt at NEET SS, and you have got very great result. So are you happy with the result? How are you feeling after joining super specialization? So very happy with the result. Super specialization obviously is new journey. A uh, little time to uh, still adjusting to the new environment, but I'm liking the subject and liking the department also. Great. So tell us about how did you prepare for this exam? When did you prepare? So honestly, did you do any special preparation? So honestly speaking, I didn't prepare for NEET SS. i just went and sat in the exam um, without any preparation but uh, i think what helped was the general psychiatry which i studied for the last 3 years great so tell us some up something about this exam what uh, what is the pattern how many questions what is the scoring system so 150 questions same as neat pg like four marks for one question and negative one foot and uh, the this time the exam was conducted in three parts 50 50 50 three parts so once the 51st session is over that page will be closed we can't edit any more we have to go to the second half like this three halves were there and uh, so same time as 50 minutes for each part and uh, like this and uh, how many question you attempted how many you got right what was your score Sir, my score was three ninety eight. Uh, correct mm. responses are hundred and five. Uh, exactly, I can't remember how many I attempted, but I left around I think fifteen or fifteen uh, or twenty questions. How was the paper pattern? Uh, uh, means, did they ask any specific topics of psychiatry or all topics? Uh, it was like fifty percent questions were from general psychiatry. No, not fifty percent. Around sixty percent, and forty percent were from geriatric and neuropsychiatry based. So, uh, from geriatric psychiatry and neuropsychiatry, the questions were mostly uh, on clinical aspects. They were giving clinical scenarios and what to do, how to manage uh, the diagnosis asked. Hmm. And then, uh, and from general psychiatry, all aspects were covered, like uh, child psychiatry, addiction, especially community psychiatry. Indian programs were. the most focused one okay so when they asked more questions on geriatric psychiatry was the number more or was the depth of the question also more depth of questions are a bit more in geriatric like uh, not i will not say very much factual but uh, it's uh, more of concept based like geriatric uh, the difference in pharmacokinetics pharmacodynamics in geriatrics uh, the way the prognosis in the different disorders in geriatric uh, like depression psychosis the prevalence patterns they didn't ask exact numbers much and uh, apart from that the rest questions were clinical scenarios delirium there were multiple questions uh, but uh, you said you did not prepare but after giving the exam do you think if somebody wants to prepare for this exam then does he or she has to do anything extra in geriatric or general preparation is okay i think sir uh, general preparation is okay but uh, a little more what i felt after coming out from the exam hall that if i had read a little more of uh, community psychiatry like a good focus of questions was on national mental health program mental health policy the aims objectives and then the years uh, in which it uh, states dmhp for example then uh, one some questions were like some uh, who ka those pyramids and all which are followed in india those had there was a good number of questions on those things and uh, apart from th th that part one needs to focus 
while preparing for this and secondly from geriatric side i think reading uh, synopsis is enough what i felt because it, they, they are focusing more on concepts okay so you don't uh, recommend uh, going to a higher book of organic like lishman or something kaplan was okay kaplan is enough sir for geriatric kaplan is enough uh, but more of community psychiatry according to you uh, although you said you did not prepare for yourself for this exam but if somebody is targeting this exam uh, from the pg itself suppose he wants to prepare for this exam what is your recommendation to the student how to prepare sir one thing is to read the basics very clearly like doing uh, taking like for example i had the pg residence course by sir uh, so i had completed that in first year only then after that i started reading the basic books like uh, one one topic like psychopathology we know fish seems motsle uh, we have to read and then uh, synopsis obviously and then topic wise we as we prepare for md we we prepare topic wise questions i think that's enough but for community psychiatry uh, a little more depth is required what i felt because that is not given in a particular textbook and uh, another thing which is uh, required is a little bit of mcq orientation is required that can be done by in, india that not that many apps are there but if anyone is going for uh, the mrc psych or anything those apps can help like uh, mcq orientation i think will help okay you said you finished the psychiatry pg course in the first year itself uh, so you finished all the three modules child addiction yes sir so how was your experience with the course so it was very nice like uh, when our resident is joining uh, we don't have that much idea because psychiatry is not a ug subject so i think starting with the i started with child psychiatry but whoever uh, starts with what i think making the notes by ourselves and then uh, the that notes helps till the day of uh, day before exam like i remember reading sir your notes on uh, neurobiology of substance use uh, so that th those are so crisp those covers all the points and then they are okay for uh, uh, enough for the long question so and that okay. gives a basic concept so did you write your md finals also from that notes yes. theory paper yes sir was it sufficient for writing the exam i couldn't hear you sir can you repeat was it sufficient for writing the exam paper yes sir more than sufficient it is we do not get that much time while writing so if it is point wise in flow chart form like the way you teach us is the best thing okay that's great to hear uh, so any general recommendation that you would like to give to junior psychiatrists who are listening to you uh, one thing is love the subject uh, it's not like we came to the subject just most of most people come to psychiatry by default uh, so once you are there it's the best subject i think of all so love the subject read from the very uh, basics like um, and i what i personally did is if i do not understand anything i can't stop until i understand it totally hmm. so do that thing if it's not textbooks not sufficient then online we have so many materials now and if you are preparing for uh, and plan for what you are wanting to do after residency from second year second year is the best time i think to prepare forward whether it is going to uh, going abroad or doing going for a super specialty or post doctoral fellowship prepare from then and accordingly go forward great to hear this so on a personal note when did you decide to become a psychiatrist from where did you get inspiration to become a psychiatrist <laughs> sir um, my father is psychiatrist but i didn't have any uh, thing like i will take psychiatry in my mbbs also from around uh, final year mbbs i started liking when i actually started reading the subject had clinical posting and from my internship i was totally decided if any subject i am taking it will be psychiatry only no other option great great to hear this so i am sure that your advice is going to help the future aspirant we wish you all the best in your dm geriatric course and i'm so happy being a student now you have become you are becoming a super specialist and very soon i'll be hearing to you as a student and you being teaching us geriatric psychiatry 
थैंक यू सो मच आहिर थैंक यू थैंक यू सो मच